Now to tonight's special report and a unique collaboration between environmental activists and a bakery. Solar power installation has quadrupled in Australia in the past four years, but it accounts for less than 3% of the nation's energy supply. Now investors are taking the energy market into their own hands, developing and setting up small scale projects that not only provide them with their own electricity, but earn the money as they sell excess supply to others. Our consumer affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge has more. So this is the oven area and this is obviously where we're making the products. It takes a lot of energy. This industrial bakery spends hundreds of thousands of dollars a year on electricity. So the product is just out of the oven. Uh, it there about 180 to 200 degrees temperature. And now the process, they will have to cool down a little bit and we will put them in those chambers uh, which are about minus 35 degrees inside with a big wind chill factor and this will bring the temperature to um, minus 30 degrees at core in about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes time. So that takes a lot of energy? It does take a massive amount of energy to cool it down in such a period of time. To cut costs, the bakery has looked to the sky and the community for help. This huge 230 kilowatt system has been funded by community investors introduced to the bakery by a volunteer group. 20 people pledged almost $400,000 to pay for the panels and installation. They put their money in and then for a set number of years, they get paid every quarter for whatever generation is produced by the panels. And over the total time, that's equivalent to about a 7% return. Manager, this is Andrew. He's one of the key investors behind the project. I invested uh, 20000 into this one. Um, and, you know, it gives me a return that's kind of, it's a good rate of return. Most bakeries do the bulk of their work through the night, but the reason solar panels will work so well for this operation is because they work through the day. They freeze their product and then they ship it to all corners of Australia. A lot of their function is cooling processes and, and maintaining cool rooms. And in summertime, when those cool rooms are you know, consuming the most amount of power, our solar panels are producing a, a huge amount of power, which allows us not only to produce energy for their consumption, but also to manage their demand spikes. The bakery is among more than 50 projects in Australia where investors have pitched in a total of $24 million. It took just nine minutes to raise enough community money to put solar panels on this brewery last year. There's definitely an oversupply of investors and an undersupply of projects. If the government's not going to take the action, then at least citizens can do something and that makes us feel really good. But Australia's efforts are dwarfed by what's happening in both Denmark and Germany, where thousands of community energy projects are running. Both countries cut red tape by changing planning regulations and developing dedicated community energy policies. In fact, many other countries, community energy has taken off at a much faster rate than in Australia. Uh, we've had to duck and weave our way through the regulations to set up this type of operation. Uh, it's not efficient uh, and we could do much more with the appropriate regulatory environment. Along with cutting red tape, there are concerns about whether those left out of solar projects will end up paying more to access the grid. When people start using less grid-based electricity because they're producing their own, all of a sudden other people have to pay for the grid that remains. The bakery's new panels will be operating within two months. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.